Yoga is I'm going to review an off-season bodybuilding diet by Derek Lunsford. Of course he starts his day off with coffee. <laughs> the perfect slave drink. A little slower getting up in the off-season. Is that a... Yeah, because you look like a tumor. Is that a bowl or a mug? I don't know, but I like it. It's huge. I love it. And where we got it? Oh, well, Justin got it. I got you. I was watching you do that. I'm like, is that a bowl? Are you mixing up cereal or making coffee? How old is this guy? I'm gonna guess um, 45. Um, yeah, he looks 45. Let's see. Oh my fucking god! What the? F is going on here <laughs> now he can't be 30 this must be wrong now he can't be 30 what is this wrong it's impossible wait is this real what is going on on this earth i'm not uh, i don't get it i i don't I'm, I, I don't get it anymore you know during prep like i'm like i'm like out of bed let's go let's do this cardio well, sometimes I'm kind of like, oh, gosh, we're going to do this cardio. Oh, it sucks. <laughs> but I'm still, like, up and, like... Yeah, because nobody on Earth wants to do cardio. It's torturous for the body. Hello, how unaware of your body are you, actually? <laughs> the guy probably looks in the mirror and thinks that he looks 30. <laughs> and then the good old trusty treadmill. Why does somebody have this machine in their garage? Can you not go for a walk in your neighborhood? The only reason I could understand why you do this is if you lived in Jamaica somewhere where your neighborhood is too dangerous to even go out. That's not even true anyway, but uh, some kind of country. I, there isn't probably even such a country on this earth. It just doesn't make any sense. All right, meal one. This may surprise you because if you guys have been following along, you guys know I like to eat my eggs in the morning. I like to have a couple whole eggs and you know, it's my normal everyday breakfast. So today, salmon and rice. But not just today, this is actually what I've been doing. It's not really surprising. All of the idiot bodybuilders eat rice. Maybe not for breakfast always, but um, all of them are dumb slaves <laughs> because only slaves eat rice. Only slaves eat seeds. In general, think about it. <laughs> Eating little seeds, cooking them up because you can't eat them raw in their natural state, and these are not even natural anyway, they are cultivated. You don't even realize that the food you eat cannot be eaten in its natural state. That's how dumb you are. <laughs> and the rice today is also full of arsenic and decides that it only has fiber and sugar. And on the regular last few weeks, for some reason, I have been on a salmon and rice kick. I don't know why. It's something I've been craving lately. But not just that. I feel like... Nobody on Earth craves rice. Rice, at best, has no taste whatsoever. There's just nothing at all that you can crave about it. People always add a lot of sauces, cheese, and whatnot to seeds so that they don't taste them or they at least have some kind of a taste, seeing as most of them don't really have much of a taste. Craving seeds is impossible. That will never happen, ever. <laughs> but uh, craving the meat would be possible. Of course, um, I think that it's, I hope not, but looks like a farmed fish, which is very toxic. We'll pop the microwave for of course. a minute 45, minute 44. Um, so get this meal in, get it down. It doesn't really matter how long you put it into the microwave because you destroy the food anyway now. That way here in about two hours, I can eat another meal and then go straight to the gym. Uh, a, a tip for you guys who are having a problem getting in enough food, uh, start your meals early. So again, it's for me, it's 10 o'clock. sounds pretty late for most people. Um, normally I like to get my meals in a little earlier than this, but... Uh... But what does it matter? You could also just be eating candy. You're a drug addict? And the only reason you have any so-called muscles, these fake ones, which look like tumors, is because of drugs. Is there anybody actually that ignorant who watches your videos, who doesn't understand that they are looking at a loser junkie who completely failed at life, 
who's so insecure that he needed to hop on drugs because he's uh, too ugly or too short or whatever the reason is. I don't know anything about him. He doesn't look short from what it seems like, but uh, <laughs> he's also not very good looking, let's just say. <laughs> That's the reason why most people start working out uh, or whatever insecurities you have uh, can also just be mental abuse, trauma. Also, what I like about the, the salmon and rice, as I was mentioning, is the fact that it just digests so easily on my stomach above steak, above uh, eggs. I could do chicken or like maybe like a white fish, but I want a little bit more fats. And of course, I could add like all the kind of fats that you get from this again, which I assume is farm fish is really, really bad. It can actually be deadly and cause very severe food poisoning. Of course, if you cook it, you're going to destroy a lot of the toxins or at least neutralize them, which is why you probably won't get food poisoning. That's why people don't get food poisoning from bad food. It's just because they cook it. Most of the meat that people eat today would be too terrible to be consumed raw, but because they cook it, they don't uh, notice any side effects avocado or or maybe some almonds or cashews to you know a low fat protein meal like the the white fish or the chicken but salmon is perfect again i've been kind of on a salmon kick i like it even salmon is not perfect what would be perfect would be raw meat if you want to not feel anything in your stomach as you described it as and not have this heavy feeling of indigestion then you need to eat what you're naturally supposed to eat Nothing else can be better digested than what you're naturally supposed to eat, right? Everybody would agree on that, seeing as uh, we have a natural body, and the only way to have good digestion is to put natural food into our bodies, or specifically into our stomachs, and then it goes through our intestines, and then it comes out. There's going to be no problems whatsoever if you eat natural food. When you eat a lot of garbage, especially when it's cooked, then you're going to have problems naturally. It's a natural response of your body when you're consuming unnatural food. Every time you put something unnatural in your body, you will feel the effect of it. What's first thing in the morning, um, like I said, it just, it's easy on the stomach, it's gonna go down well, I'm gonna feel really good after I eat it, and then in two hours... I'm you would feel even better if you would consume raw, healthy animal organs from a really good source, if you would drink blood or even eat raw muscle meat, that would still be a lot better than what you're eating right now. That's exactly what human beings eat in nature. I'm gonna wanna eat my next meal. Just a little salt. Idiot. And that's it. Doesn't eat anything else. Yeah, make it more toxic. Good slave. Yeah, take some pills because that's just what sick people need. And uh, somebody who has so many tumors needs a lot of pills of course how could he even walk without them so the last ones are those do you eat fish in the morning mm, not usually no do you recommend it i do actually i do I'm really enjoying this. Oh, you don't notice? No, really, this is good. I like fish. Most people don't eat fish for breakfast, but when you go to other countries, other parts of the world, like Europe, for example, or you know Asia, people eat fish for breakfast all the time. You know, it's just a common thing. It's normal for most people. I've never heard of anybody eating fish for breakfast in Europe. Not that it's bad. Totally, you should do it, but just never. But for some reason here in America, what we usually eat for breakfast, is some garbage like this yes and that's very true then again why do you even have that in your house or does he have a child but then even if why would you feed it to your child either way it seems kind of hypocritical to show that if somebody in the house eats it except if you live with some roommate who eats it okay then uh, i take everything back but otherwise what are you trying to prove here <laughs> so why do i have it i don't know hey listen <laughs> Why, why do you have that garbage? Honestly, it's because when I was sick a few weeks ago, I couldn't eat hardly anything, and I was just trying to get something down, so I ate it. But the whole box was like full, pretty much. <laughs> I actually got it because Jelson mentioned it. She was like, "Oh, you remember when you used to eat Captain Crunch in college?" I said, "Oh yeah." Something kind of stuck in my head, so I grabbed it. And I, I think I ate like a small little bowl, and I said, "I didn't want this." Oh. Okay, I'll just believe him. Um, that's good. You should never eat any kind of cereal. It's so incredibly bad for you. It's even worse than bread. Uh, 
It's not only the freaking ingredients, it's just indigestible and so bad for your gut. It's really as if you're consuming antibiotics. Okay. Stop it right now. Pop off, gel. Pop off. <laughs> Pop. Pop off. Pop off, gel. She's a boxer now. <laughs> She's a boxer. Uncle T. Oh, wow. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I love it when she smiles. Yeah, he's like a little bit. A little bit head here, but hey, still looking beautiful in the morning. It's so interesting when you have a child, but the child looks. That's it, and I'll stop right there. I won't say anything more on YouTube. Oh my God, man, you look so incredibly bad incredibly ugly and even though i'm not a girl i can tell you right now that every girl on earth finds you disgusting to the point where they would probably throw up when they see you Ugh. this is the meal I'm telling you bro this is fire mr olympia meal all right i'm gonna show you how to properly cook this what mr olympia meal man why Create these kind of stupid videos. The only thing that you should show are your Mr. Olympia drugs. If you want to influence people to get your kind of body, then stop talking about food. Don't even show how you work out. None of that. Just make a video of the drugs that you take, you junkie. You absolute failure. Because that's the only reason why you look the way you look. The only reason. You look incredibly sick, and that's why you look like you're in your 40s. I still can't believe that he's 30. Basically, he was just in his late 20s. Basically, he was in his 20s. <laughs> For it to taste its best. Look at that. All right, take out the cup. Then we got... Oh, by the way, this is like a demi-glaze sauce. It's flipping fire, bro. Like, the best sauce ever, I swear. Okay, so we got the steak. I'm gonna put that in the steak is good, very essential for building muscle. Again, obviously, ideally raw. Kill it. We have carrots and we have potato. Carrots, they don't even exist in nature. They also have carototoxin. Why do you eat them? And what? So I'll probably put the steak and the carrots in the skillet, and I'm gonna air fry the potatoes. So that way they come out a little bit. Potatoes have oxalates. You will get kidney stones eventually because of your stupid diet. Yeah, just wait. Yeah, eat your potatoes, eat your fries like McDonald's. Yeah, and then when you're 40 years old, you're going to be screaming in pain. Have fun, really. Like, <laughs> Hen Sherbivore, he still doesn't realize why he got the gallstone. And um, they only have sugar and uh, fiber. Uh, absolute slave food. You're eating like a slave. At least eat some meat. If you have access to an air fryer, which I highly recommend, then... I gotta say that it's disgusting to look at him. You absolute NPC failure. And it's uh, zero calorie, actually. It's a little salt on the avocado here. Stop salting your food. Do you never think about why there's always salt and sugar in every restaurant on earth? <laughs> it's to poison you, slaves. A little salt on avocados. So. So yeah, I'll end up eating this meal. I'm definitely gonna eat another one to two meals for sure. But what I'll do is after this one, I'll wait a couple hours and I'll see, okay, like, uh, is it getting a little late or do I have enough time to get two more clean meals in? Or um, or sometimes like maybe I'm just extra hungry. And what I'll do is like, okay, like I need to eat uh, like a cheap meal or something, right? So I might I might um, go for a burger, or I might get Persian food, I might get sushi, something like that. So what I like to do is, <clears throat> I actually think it's important like in the off season that you give your digestion system a break and which is kind of you know time away from if you would be eating naturally then you wouldn't need to give your digestive system a break only people who eat unnatural food always say that especially vegans <laughs> raw vegans especially actually they are obsessed with giving their digestive system a break because they feel like they are full all of the time they are always bloated nothing is digesting because they eat indigestible green plants nonstop, which completely goes against human biology. And then uh, the normal vegans eat uh, some more cooked seeds, rice, which is better than green plants. It's still bad for you, of course. 
and will still cause some bloating. And this guy also is just way too much garbage. There's no need to eat the avocados. Why would you? They don't have over 15 micronutrients. They don't have anything that the human body needs whatsoever. Come on, man. They're not even natural. Real avocados are way smaller with a way bigger seed. There's hardly any fruit flesh there. And again, just his arsenic seeds. I think finding, you know, a healthy balance of, you know, good nutrient dense food along with uh, the right portion sizes. Uh, nutrient dense food, but um, almost nothing that you eat is nutrient dense. You could say that the steak sort of was not really compared to organs but you cooked it also which means that you destroyed uh, not necessarily half of the protein because you didn't cook it that much but uh, probably 30 percent yeah if that makes sense so what that does is you know it's not so heavy on the on the digestive system and you won't get so bloated and you're not yeah or you could just eat naturally and never get bloated in your life yeah that's also a way to live expanding your your waistline so. do people like him actually believe that it's normal to eat food and to get bloated <laughs> people actually believe that oh i'm just gonna eat some food and then the bloating is gonna come how do you not realize that you're eating unnatural food and that's why you get bloated it's as if these people believe that it's normal for a human body to get bloated after eating food. How stupid can you be? Chicken and rice, good old chicken and rice, bodybuilding staple. Um, we are about to head out and do... <laughs> chicken and rice. Of course you overcook the chicken, which means that you destroy 50% of the protein. The way people cook chicken today, for sure. And... Uh, you should cook it because the chicken of today is very toxic because of what they feed them and all of the medications that they get. You're eating very few micronutrients with destroyed protein and sugar and arsenic from the rice. And that's supposed to be a bodybuilding meal. Even if you want to go to the gym and build muscle, then you need to be eating actual bodybuilding foods because these foods only destroy your body, which again, are only natural foods. Ideally, liver, a lot of it, because the vitamin A is actually what builds muscle. And then last but not least, we have the liver longer. So we got the liver longer, or what did he say? I mean, what is that? <laughs> is it because of all of the drugs that he's taking? Is he afraid of liver failure? I don't know what it is. I'm just assuming something here. The liver support there you got the vitamins you got omegas super 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 important those three right there i don't care i recommend that you take them from evagen but as long as you have a good vitamin you have a good liver support and you have a good uh omega-3 the best food for your liver is liver that's what would actually support and rejuvenate your liver if you have any issues and the best food for most vitamins is also liver and then uh, for the fat soluble ones ideally also eat some brain that's all that you need as far as vitamins go you're completely set way more than set actually and those vitamins are bioavailable this stuff is for the most part synthetic usually it doesn't even come from a natural source and even if it would there's absolutely no proof that any of them are bioavailable because of the way they process them to actually get these capsules. Fish oil, these are very, very important health supplements that everybody should be taking. Um, no, everybody should be eating naturally and not taking any kind of supplements. Come on, what are you talking about? Why would you recommend something so stupid? It's just so dumb to say that everybody should be taking that. When in reality, nobody on earth should be taking that. But I'm not a doctor, so make sure you consult your doctor before taking anything. Doctors don't learn anything about food or nutrition whatsoever. You should never consult a doctor, a general one, about food, seeing as that's not what they learn when they study. There's some doctors, like Paul Saladino, who you could actually go and ask about food. I don't recommend doing it on, a, on an empty stomach, so I might eat a little bit. Oh. 
it looks so comical the way he's eating just because of the way he looks like. <laughs> Aaron is alive. Oh, you left. Oh, man. Uh, I'm really not surprised that that's his wife. That's all that I will say. Hi. How are you? She gets excited. She shakes. She like... The baby is cute. Almonds, cashews, Brazilian nuts, um, walnuts. Those are all really good options to add good healthy fats to your... Uh, your... But no, it's plant oils. Why would those be healthy so-called fats? Healthy fats would be the ones that you are made out of, which would come from animals. Your whole video doesn't make any sense. I like avocados. Uh, I would say egg yolks are another good source of fats. Um, you could- Yes, egg yolks actually would be, but the rest that you named is garbage. Do, there's a lot of different olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. What olive oil? Olive oil is, Pressed out oil from a very bitter, toxic fruit. On top of that, you know, showed you guys the supplements that I take every day, the health supplements, which are super, super important. If the inside of you is not functioning properly and is not in optimal health uh, or peak health. Why do you even talk about health? Peak health. <laughs> Guy is 30 years old. He already looks like he's about to kick the bucket and he talks about peak health and he's one of the unhealthiest beings on this earth. Seriously, a junkie talking about health. Think about it. Think about it. It's as if a heroin addict comes up, makes a video, eating plant oils and seeds, taking supplements for his liver and then talks about peak health, even though he looks like he's about to die. <laughs> It's just insane. Like literally, like it's actually close to a mental illness. And um, at homeostasis, then I would say that you're probably not going to get the best results in terms of you building your physique. So making sure that. Yeah, but you have completely destroyed your physique. How do you not see that, man? <laughs> Body dysmorphia. Your heart is healthy and all the organs. Your heart is healthy. Yeah, why do you talk about that? You probably have the unhealthiest heart on earth. This our healthy liver, uh, your stomach, your GI tract is... Why do you take liver support pills if your liver should be healthy? It would be if you wouldn't be a junkie. <laughs> a junkie teaches us about liver health. <laughs> is this like satire or something? It's not just health, health, health. And the healthier that you are, the better results that you're going to get. So. If you're a beginner out there, what is up with him using the word health all of the time? You should be the last human being on earth who uses the word health. And you don't know where to start. I would say this video right here, what I just showed you, the last five meals, uh, I would make that my staple in, in my diet if I were a beginner. I got to say that this video got super delusional at the end. Him talking about health in general and especially about organ health is just comical. <laughs> It really almost seemed like satire, but I get that it isn't. He's really that delusional because he's talking about it very seriously. But seriously, you should be the last guy on earth who talks about health in general, let alone organ health. A drug addict talking to us about organ health. How much more delusional can you even get? His diet overall is also pretty bad, at least just like a lot of these bodybuilders who take it seriously, he eats a lot of meat. The steak wasn't even that overcooked. That was about the only good meal. All of it is full of rice, which only has arsenic, sugar, and fiber. One of the worst foods on earth. Absolute slave food. You gotta be just really, really dumb to eat rice. Really, seriously. I've said this before a million times, but I'll just say it again. It looks like he has a child, even though it doesn't look like his child. Don't you want to be around for your daughter? Don't you actually care about your daughter? Your daughter doesn't care about your muscles, which are not even real. Your daughter doesn't want you to be on drugs. She can't say it yet, but that's what she will say 
in 10 years if you will even be around. And that's not very likely whatsoever. My point here is that if you would care about your daughter, you would stop all of this because your daughter simply wants you to be around. She wants you to be natural and healthy, and you're super far away from that. Children don't care about bodybuilding, obviously. Only insecure beta males, which is the definition of you, care about uh, creating these fake muscles to impress other men. <laughs> and you only impress other men. Women uh, don't want to be together with you. The only kind of women that you can get are those kind of women. <laughs> Your daughter only cares about you being in her life. And if you don't care about that, then you're indirectly abusing your daughter. You're abusing the future daughter. You're abusing uh, her when she's going to grow up right now already because you're right now reducing your lifespan. You're not going to be there for her. And that's the worst thing that you could do for your daughter. You're really not a parent at all to her because of what you're doing to your buddy right now. Thanks for watching.